I want to give you guys some organization tips, thoughts, tricks, whatever you call it, because I feel like that's a word a lot of us come to at the beginning of the year. We just want our life more organized in different ways. And it sort of encompasses a lot of things, right? So let's talk about organizations. And there's been like a lot of books about like tidying up your space and your environment and why that's really important for your mental health. So let's just talk about literally like tidying up, organizing your space. I'm really good at organizing some things and then other things like my email crazy so I think you have to pick and choose because you can't your whole life being fully organized I think is almost impossible and also um, might stress you out to have everything perfect right so let's just pick a few things that would help you feel better that would make you feel happier they do talk about like when you come into a room that room affects your mood depending on who you are like I've had friends that like the a chaotic room they feel good in. For me, like when I walk into a room, I like it to be organized and a little bit minimalized. So it just sort of frees me up to breathe and think and be creative. But I also like spots of creativity and color in the room and whatever. So the first thing is what kind of organization would make you happy, right? Would it be a clean car? Would it be like your bedroom with everything in place? And when you walk in there, it's just like, like this relaxing place that kind of helps settle you and gets you into sleep mode or whatever. So there's lots of different ways to do it. And I always, again, we're going to go back to these small steps because I think if you just like, I'm going to clean my room and then your room is a disaster because you're pulling everything out. And like, so some people are good at that. Like, I'm going to take a weekend. I'm going to destroy this room and then put it back together and make it perfect. Most of us don't have that kind of time. And then we get partway through and we're like, oh, screw it. I'm not going to do it. And then your room is either worse or not better. So I'm really a big believer in smaller steps. Just taking a step back and looking at your room. And when you walk in, where does your your eyes go? When I go into my room, I'm like, oh, that section. I'm like, I wish I had that. that section just needs revamping, you know? And then you look over here like this, this is an okay part. Don't open the drawers because, you know, whatever. Finding the bigger areas that give you the most grief or the most stress when you look at them, just tackle yeah. that. You could either choose like every day to tackle one small thing. So let's maybe say it's your dresser. Maybe there's a bunch of stuff piled up on your dresser and maybe the drawers of the dresser are really, you like, you, you, you want to get some socks, but you're just like, I just can't look at that right now. So then the idea is like, I like a timer. So set a timer, put really good music on that's fun or a podcast. Whatever's on here, I'm going to put it away. I'm going to find a place for all of this stuff and put it away. And that's all I'm going to do today. And then tomorrow, I'm going to set a timer and listen to a podcast. And I'm going to do this section of my dresser. And then I come in and I, oh, my dresser is cleared off. Like it feels really good. So just pick one thing in that big space and just do it one thing at a time. And by the end of the week, you walk in and your whole dresser is transformed. And it's been little steps. Or maybe it's your car. Some cars are just a huge mess, right? And you're like, oh, how do I start? Like one day, you do your trunk. What do you need in your car and what do you not need? Some people feel like they need to live in their car. Some people don't. But like if you like ha like to have a lot of stuff in your car so you can kind of go to it, then I would say like create a trunk that has some organization stuff in it. Give yourself some places to put things and then do the back seat or half of the back seat, depending on what your car looks like. Then do the passenger, then do yours, whatever, or just clean out like, you know, the console or the glove compartment. Do one thing a day for seven days and your car is going to look pretty good. And then you reward yourself by like spending a little money and taking it to like a really nice detail place or like car wash place. And then oh, your car for a little while is going to look amazing. And the key to that is having a place for everything. Here's like some other kind of tips and tricks. I, I learned this from, from one mother, which I thought was really cool. It's like one minute rule. If you can do something in one minute, then do it then. So if you're coming in the house and you have your coat to hang up, like if it takes less than one minute, which hanging up a coat does, you do it then. Because sometimes we come in the house and we just drop all of our stuff and then we move on and then later we're like, oh my God, now I gotta clean up my shoes, my jacket, my this, my that. So if something can be done in one minute or less, we just do it in the moment then. 
and how that helps with organization is, is like, then you never have to deal with that stuff because it's dealt with. And one minute we can do. If someone's moving through the house and you notice like one thing that needs to be picked, you just kind of, as you're walking, you pick up the shoes and you put them away and then you keep walking and doing other stuff. But as you're moving through your day and you're going from one room to another, you're grabbing something that needs to be put away, you put it away and then you move on. So there's always like these little tiny tricks because I think what overwhelms a lot of us is like the idea, like when I get to the sink and there's there's a buttload of dishes and I hate doing dishes and it overwhelms me. It makes me so sad. So one of the things that I do is, again, it's my timer, but I set a timer for 10 minutes and I'm like, I'm only doing 10 minutes. Like, I don't care. I'm only doing 10 minutes and I'm going to do something else fun after that. I don't care if they get done, but usually I can get a lot done in 10 minutes. Making it fun, making it short, doable, like those are the ways that we can kind of organize our stuff, our life, without it being like this big deal. <laughs>